Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. Is data science a good career option for you? Many students ask me this question and I hope, I know many of you are having this question in your mind. And some students ask me, ma'am, I'm not from CS background. I don't know anything about coding. Can I go for this data science field? Or I have a career gap. Can I now go for data science field? Or I'm, a, I'm working, but in some other field. Now I want to switch to IT and I want to go in data science field. Can I now go for this field? So don't worry, answer of all these questions you will get in this video. Based on two to three factors, we'll be discussing this question. I cannot directly say that, yes, for you, data science is a good career, go for it. Right? Because it depends on many factors. It depends on your given conditions. Those things also we'll discuss in detail, don't worry. But in general, if I say, then definitely yes. Data science is expected to remain in, you know, in trend. Is expected to remain a great career choice in 2025 and beyond. Not just in 2025, because when you are learning any skill, any new skill, or when you wanna, when you talk about your career path, when you wanna choose your career, then you don't think for the this year or for the next year only. You think you have a vision for next five year or ten year at least. We cannot say that you are future proof if you learn this skill and you are uh, future proof or you are future ready for next 25 year or 50 year. No, because everybody knows that technology changes rapidly. We cannot say this thing. But at least for next 10 years, 12 years, or maximum like 15 years, we can say this kind of thing. If you want to go for this field, you are safe. It's a great career choice. In that case, yes, I can say data science is a great career choice. But is data science is a right career for you? So basically, it depends like on two factors. You ask these two questions from you. Do you have interest in coding? First question. And second thing is, do you have interest in maths and statistics? these two things and if the answer is yes then definitely you can go for it but i'm not saying that you are good in coding or you are good in maths and this you have these skills no i'm just saying saying that you have interest in these things because some students are not in cs from cs background they are mechanical background from or maybe they are from commerce or any other background so they know don't know even abcd of coding they don't have any experience of coding so how can they say that i'm good in coding right or maybe uh, you have some bad memories about maths or statistics or you, you don't even uh, study the subject statistics, right? So how would you know that you are good in this thing? So basically you have to find out you have interest or not. Maybe you are, you are not good in maths in 11th or 12th. So it's not like that you are not good in maths right now or you, can go, you cannot go for data science field. No, it's not like that. You have to find out now. So one way is for coding, you just start learning Python, I would recommend because data science this Python is the language for data science, data scientist. This must, this language is must if you want to go, if you want to go in this field. You have to learn this thing. So start learning this language and trust me, it is the easiest one. And if you are learning, if you are, you know, uh, getting this language and if you are not, don't feel frustrated and then definitely you can, you have interest in coding, you can find out this thing easily. Next is. Now, what about maths and these subjects? So, it's not like that you have to go for this pure mathematical concept, something like this. No. You have to apply these mathematical or these concepts in real world on a data set, right? Using some tools, using like suppose Python language, using R. This would also be a language if you want to go in this field, right? Somewhere. But this is the main one, my Python one, Python language, right? So, now, the thing is, from where you can learn these things? How would you get to know that I need to learn this thing in maths or this concept or this how to apply? I need to learn this much of statistics like this, right? So don't worry, I have got you covered. You can go for Odin schools, uh, data science course. This course typically covers only the relevant concept, the relevant things to be a data scientist and only the relevant mathematical and statistics concept, ensuring that you learn what's necessary without overwhelming yourself with theoretical math only. And if you want to know about Odin School and the data science course of Odin School, then you can get to know by one of their alumni who has successfully completed the course and got placed in Capgemini. So there is a completely free demo class on 17th of October. The timing is 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. IST, which will be taken by one of their alumni who is a mechanical engineering graduate and now placed in Capgemini. So he will basically walk you through his success journey to Capgemini and how Odin School's data science course transformed his career. 
So book your slot now because this is completely free to attend. The link you will get in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. Now, if the answer of these question, these two questions, if you find out that the answer of these two questions for you is yes, then definitely it is a right choice for you guys. But if no, then it's not like that. It is end. You don't have any future. There are some other fields also. Don't worry. It's not like that everyone is good in data science or everyone is good in you know every field. No, someone are good in some other field. Someone have interest in some other technology, some other field. So there are many career options as well. You can go for some other field also. Okay, those things also we can discuss in some uh, other videos other than the data science field. What are some other great career options? But this thing I can definitely say that this is one of the trending field or definitely in the near future also you have a great career in this data science field if you go for this field this is a great career choice right now next thing is next thing i want to uh, say is uh, in terms of job opportunities in data science field so if you go for any uh, this kind of like, like maybe nokri.com and if you you search for data science jobs in your particular area or you give a particular location then you see that there are so many data science job it's a data scientist job i'm saying data science job because there's so many other jobs also in this field data science field not just only data scientist job right see in gurgaon only 1256 jobs of data scientist data analyst senior data analyst data consultant data scientist data engineer data architect even fraud analyst so there are so many jobs within this data science field see this is one of them data analyst for data analyst, three to eight years of experience they uh, required and these are the roles and responsibilities. So for data analyst, see now the skills you need is data management and data analysis. The preferred skills are not machine learning algorithms or these things. So you can start with these, you know, low tier job as well. Not directly to jump to data scientist because you have some, once you have some experience in these low or tier jobs, maybe data analyst or data engineer or fraud analyst, data consultant, you can then switch after one, two or three years for high level jobs and ultimately for data scientists. For data scientists also, there are three categories like data scientist, one, two, three. See if I show you this data scientist, artificial intelligence in IBM, they require five to 10 years of experience, right? And here the skills you need is Python data analytics. So I told you Python language, machine learning algorithm. These skills are skills highlighted with this star are preferred key skills tableau data visualization these are preferred skills and these are mandatory machine learning also python also so yeah data scientists are having obviously high salary and high in demand but these are there are so much competition also for data scientists and you need some high level skill as well so there are so many openings in this data science field just search for data science jobs right not data scientist if you search for data science, then you will get multiple different different types of job that comes under data science field only, right? And this I have shown I have shown you only for like particular location in Gurgaon only, and there were so many jobs. So you can search like this and you can apply. There are so many job opening, and this number would definitely be going to increase in future because AI. See, AI is data science is a broader area. AI is within that. And this data science and this AI is in every industry nowadays, whether it's for healthcare, entertainment, education, marketing, social media marketing, or you take any industry and AI thing or data science thing is in every industry. So the number of jobs, the number of openings will definitely be going to increase in near future. Don't worry. Right. Now, next is in terms of salaries. If I compare, so if you go for any, if you search in Google that like the salary range of a data scientist, you see from here only we can, we are able to see that on Glassdoor, it's like data scientist, 9 lakhs to 23 lakhs, senior data scientist, 18 lakhs to 34 lakhs per year and lead data scientist, 23 lakhs to 43 lakhs. And even our data science intern is like average salaries, 15,000 per month, data science intern, right? So salary is also very good in this field don't worry but basically salary depends on the you know uh, the kind of role you have and where is the location and the company and as well as your skills and experience right obviously if your company is good the location also depends here and if you have skills you have experience two to three year five to eight year or ten year experience it depends on many factors but for fresher also 
they offer a very good salary and even an intern also will be getting a good salary or stipend you can say right so in terms of salary also it is a good career option for you so i hope now you got the answer of your question now according to your condition you analyze yourself and you decide that it is a right choice for you guys or not right why i am saying that if the answer of these questions are yes then go for this field because rather than once you suppose data science is in trending and you don't think like you just go for this field data you realize that you are not getting the these things and you are not able to cope up and then you feel frustrated and all this kind of thing so better to analyze first analyze first only to some level i'm not saying that you should be very good in math statistics and coding then only go for this field no you should have interest to some level you analyze yourself that yeah you are getting python you have good you are interested in these three things and you are getting these thing then definitely you can go for this right so now that's it for this video now uh, let me uh, know in comment section if these kind of videos are helpful for you and if you want me to upload more these kind of videos or any speci uh, any specific topic then you can drop a comment in comment section right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care